Good morning. It is Wednesday, April 10th, 2024. I'm DeAndre Hamilton with your morning edition of TCI Top Stories, a magnetic media production. Century 21 Arishar Properties is your best resource for buying or selling any real estate in the Turks and Caicos Islands, whether it's a condo, house, villa, commercial property, or vacant land. Century 21 TCI can assist you with your real estate needs. No matter the sign, keep Century 21 Arishar Properties in mind. Call 649-941-7368 or email your friends at century21tci.com. AccuWeather has released its official detailed predictions for the 2024 Atlantic hurricane season. Its meteorologists have predicted 20 to 25 named storms across the Atlantic basin, including 8 to 12 hurricanes and 4 to 7 major hurricanes, according to a March 27th report. The team says this outlook is above the 30-year historical average of 14 named storms and suggests meteorologists could use up the list of hurricane names. The TCI's DDME is leaning on the predictions of Colorado State University, and it says this year we could see 23 named systems with five major hurricanes. Both are foreboding forecasts and are said to be due to the record high temperatures and the transition of ENSO, or the El Nino Southern Oscillation, to a brief neutral phase on its way to a La Nina phase. It's the rain and increased moisture from La Nina in September, experts say, which could super charge the season right at its peak point. The DDME is recommending early preparations this year. The Ports Authority is warning vessel owners using its facilities across the islands that they have a responsibility to clean up after themselves and must do so going forward. In an April 9th press release, the authority revealed that it is currently undertaking a comprehensive cleanup of the country's ports, but it won't do this regularly. To verify proper cleanup on the part of vessels, port staff will now conduct an audit of designated areas before a ship departs. This applies to all vessels at its ports. The Ports Authority is pointing ship captains to their waste reception service that can be arranged prior to a vessel's arrival to make disposal time easier. After 200 years of service to the islands, the St. Thomas Anglican Church is commemorating its anniversary with a new stamp. The Turks and Caicos Islands Postal Service announced the commemorative stamp in two denominations of $10 souvenir sheets and 50 cents sheets depicting the Grand Turk Church following its celebration in December last year. The stamps went on sale since Monday at the George Brown Post Office building on Airport Road in Providentiales and the Grand Turk Post Office at the Peter Williams building on Church folly. Sounds like a great way to add to your collection. We'll take a break. Magnetic Media is your news leader. National consultation begins this week on the establishment of an independent utilities regulator for the Turks and Caicos Islands, and the process needs you. The public is invited to its special session on Thursday, April 11th, with meeting from 6 to 9 p.m. It's being held at the Palms Resort. There is also a business sector meeting on Wednesday, April 10th, from 6 to 9 p.m. also at the Palms Resort. Refreshments will be served. The Energy and Utilities Department of the TCI invites you to learn about the policy and join in the consultation. You hear that? That's Unlimited WhatsApp and Facebook with Flow's new Unlimited prepaid plans. Flow is giving you exclusive data to post, like, and share all you want on Facebook and talk. Message or video call all your faves on WhatsApp. Have endless fun when you activate Flow's hot new 30-day plan for just $40 a month and unlock. Unlimited social media messaging. Unlimited Facebook. Unlimited WhatsApp. Unlimited possibilities. Dial star 129 pound to activate today. Conditions apply. Children aren't strong enough to protect themselves, and it is up to adults to adhere to the laws of the land created to protect them. Locally, reports of abuse are increasing. In 2021, we received a total of 76 cases. However, in 2023, we reported an amount of 221 cases of child abuse being reported to us. We can be a teacher, pastor, neighbor, family member or friend 
We all have a responsibility to report abuse. That message comes from the multi-agency safeguarding hub, which is made up of police and social workers highlighting Child Abuse Awareness Month. All U.S. citizens remaining in Haiti have two days to request evacuation, according to a CBS News report quoting an email sent by the State Department listing evacuation deadline as this Friday, April 12th. For some, the last-ditch effort means traveling through gang territory. The last public alert from the State Department on Haiti came on March 18th, advising that the Port-au-Prince airport was closed and American citizens would be flown out via Santo Domingo if they requested emergency help. It's the news that matters most. Magnetic Media is your news leader. The National Health Insurance Plan has over 37,000 contributors. That's 37,000 of us working together to take care of one another. Your contribution ensures my wife and unborn child gets the prenatal care they deserve. Your contribution helps me to afford my medication. Your contribution has helped my loved one receive treatment during their untimely emergency. Your contribution gives my family peace of mind. So thank you for your contribution. This message has been brought to you by the National Health Insurance Board, building a healthy nation, one person at a time. Less than two months after his arrival, interim acting police commissioner Chris Eyre has left the TCI. Brought in in February after a series of murders, his employment caused controversy, with many wondering about the need to bring in a new acting commissioner for what should have been three months. His tenure was plagued by over a dozen back-to-back robberies and two murders. For some residents, Eyre's quick exit and the criminal activity recorded during his stint are proof that bringing in a foreign cop had little impact on curbing crime, thus making his hiring, in their minds, a glaring mistake. For others, the blame isn't fair, as they say crime is too much for one person to take on. The governor, for her part, expressed gratitude to Christopher Eyre for his leadership in the interim position. Weather today for the Turks and Caicos Islands, 81 the high, partly cloudy skies. Tonight, windy and cloudy we could get gusts upward of 30 miles per hour later with a temperature of 76 degrees. That does it for the morning edition of the news. I'm DeAndre Hamilton. Thank you for joining us.